the clean and split jerk. Start with your feet underneath the hips and weight on your full foot. Your hands are outside your shins with wrist flexed and in a hook grip. Your elbows are locked out and externally rotated with your shoulder blades retracted. Use the Valsava maneuver before initiating the lift off. With your eye gaze straight ahead, begin the first pull by pushing your feet into the floor on a full foot and begin to stand. Be sure during the movement that the hips and shoulders rise at the same rate and that your shoulders stay in advance of the bar. Once the bar is at your knees, keep the bar close to your body and initiate the second pull. With your arms still straight at the top of the pull, pull your hips through, then onto your toes, then initiate a big shrug. As the bar ascends, shuffle your feet out into a receiving or catch position and pull your body under the bar with your hips below parallel. Use a stretch reflex to bounce out of the bottom position. As you ascend, make sure your knees track over your toes and your chest stays tall while standing. At the top, the bar should be in the front rack position with your elbows high and knees and hips locked out. Make sure to distinctly pause after the clean before performing the split jerk. The split jerk begins with the bar in the front rack position with your feet shoulder width apart. Your hands are outside your shoulders in a pronated and closed grip. Before the first dip, make sure to tuck your chin in to avoid the bar going around your head. This will allow a straight bar path from the front rack position to overhead when driving the bar up. With your eye gaze straight ahead and Valsalva maneuver engaged, begin initiating a quick dip by bending your knees slightly with weight on your full foot and maintaining a straight torso. Use your legs to explode on the drive and push the bar up. As the bar moves upwards, initiate the second dip of the movement and catch the bar in a split position with your elbows locked out and wrists hyperextended. Your front and back knee should be bent approximately 90 degrees with a straight torso at the bottom of the position. Once stable, recover with your front foot halfway back, then back foot halfway forward. At the top, the bar is overhead with your elbows, hips, and knees locked out with your wrists hyperextended and your head pushed through and feet in line.